What is going on, IF Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about an article that was written by Dr. Jason Fung, in which he gives an insight to the education process that a doctor has to go through to get their PhD. And interestingly enough, his focus of the article is that doctors really don't know much about how to tackle nutrition and obesity. We're going to go ahead and dive into that article in this video. Stay tuned. Just a quick reminder guys, if you haven't bought it yet, the jump ropes are still in stock. Only $16.50, aluminum handle, swivel design for maximum speed. If you're bored with your cardio and you want to switch it up, can't go wrong with the Fledge Fitness Jump Rope. Click the card or the link will be in the description below. So basically I'm going to summarize this article by Dr. Jason Fung. It is a new article that he wrote that you can see on his website, the Intensive Dietary Management Program website. And in the article, it's very interesting what he's touching on. A lot of people who do intermittent fasting are curious about about this because a lot of doctors prescribe not to do fasting and I'm even interested as to why doctors don't prescribe intermittent fasting and I know there's the money thing and they want to push you know big pharma and all these things but some doctors generally want to have people become healthy I don't believe that every doctor out there is crooked and just wants you to be unhealthy so that they can get paid I'm sure that there are a bunch of doctors that actually want you to be healthy because even if they don't push you know big pharma or whatever it is they're still getting paid even if they heal you, you going to visit them and do all these things, it's still going to bring money to the doctor. So let's not pretend that every single doctor simply cares about pushing medicine and, and that's it. However, the interesting thing about what Dr. Jason Fung was talking about in his article is that a lot of doctors only really know to do that. It's not that they're trying to make you unhealthy. It's just that that's where the knowledge came from, from all the studies that they've done. And then it's very few doctors that continue to venture out seeking new information, new emerging research. Intermittent fasting, in terms of the bubble of it being a medical thing that can assist you, is fairly, fairly new. It's so new that it's not going to shift any kind of paradigm within the medical field to start implementing it heavily into the curriculum. It's just not going to happen. So when someone tells you that, oh, you shouldn't do this because look, doctors aren't prescribing this. It's not that they're not prescribing it because they think that it doesn't work. It's because they really don't know much about it. They don't really do the research on new emerging research they already have a base of knowledge they are well equipped to prescribing medicine but when it comes to nutrition in and of itself and weight loss they're not well equipped in that aspect he actually goes and gives us an insight on their curriculum and what they're learning as they're going through the years and he indicated that nutrition is extremely uh, extremely watered down to just understanding things like scurvy and and vitamin deficiencies some gum issues and that's pretty much it. They don't dive deeper in terms of how one should eat a balanced diet. They don't focus too much on that. But the sad truth is weight gain, visceral fat, type 2 diabetes, a lot of that stuff is literally due to weight gain. That's literally the cause. That's the reason why if somebody has a certain type of sickness that is related directly to the fact that they've gained weight, doctors can prescribe medicine for the sickness, but they're never healing it because the core of where your your problems are coming from it's not the sickness so stopping the sickness is just a temporary fix because it's going to come back because the core of the problem is the obesity or the visceral fat or the fact that you're overweight that's the core of the issue and that's the reason why doctors simplify the process and to just tell you to reduce your calories and and do more exercise it's a very simplified version of what you're supposed to do and that's something that does not even need to be prescribed by your doctor everybody in the world understands the concept that if you eat less and if you exercise more and technically you don't even have to exercise more you could just eat less and you will lose weight the calories in versus calories out model we understand that but the issue that dr jason fung is actually trying to get at uh based off of this article is that there's a high rebound effect so no matter how many times somebody starts a diet a lot of the times they will rebound and he states that over 99 percent of people who have done these diets have failed when placed in the long term which is why i say that the most important thing is always adherence adherence is the most important thing because you want to be able to do something for the long term but it's a little striking and concerning how the curriculum is set up and how the mindset 
is is designed for the doctors not to even care to look into nutrition that's not their forte they don't really care about it but then people take what that doctor is telling them as gold which can be a tricky situation of course no one is ever going to say not to check with your doctor because your doctor actually can look at your symptoms one-on-one -on -one and see what you have what problems you have so you always should consult your doctor but also keep an open mind be able to understand what you have and be able to do research as well that's why doctors like dr stephen anton who actively are involved in research who are actively conducting studies who are in search for better methods to lose weight and even more importantly maintain that weight loss are doctors that you definitely want to stay in touch with or doctors that you want to reach out to or gain information from they're focusing on the new emerging research the new things that can make your life better so this article is interesting to me and it's a really good read you should take a look at it i'll link it in the description below but i wanted to go ahead and put this information out there because i i feel like more people need to read this because a lot of people feel that what the doctor says is the gold standard and no matter what that's it he's a doctor and we should just automatically take that at face value but i think the more important thing is how actively is that person be it doctor or not researching the information that is current that is old mix and matching putting things together looking at studies that have less limitations than other studies to see what has more validity or what has a higher outcome potential based on the studies they only care to pay attention to the medication aspect of health because that's what they learned to get their phd anyways it was a very interesting article and you definitely should check it out and of course i want to thank my patrons for my patreon and i'm going to put their names right up here